Hey YouTube, it's Marty from the channel Budget Bug Out, and welcome back to my channel. Right now it is zero degrees Fahrenheit outside, and I am walking to work. I walk about uh, two and a half miles to and from work every day. Sometimes I take the taxi back home, uh, but at least two and a half miles. So if you guys want to stay tuned, I will show you guys what I wear when I walk to work. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the layers that kind of, as I mentioned in the intro that I wear whenever I'm walking to and from work. And I've been doing that for around six months and I'll be in Korea for a couple of years. So I plan to keep it going. And part of the reason why I'm walking in the cold is because I'm trying to train for long distance through hikes and kind of like something similar that I did with the Tour de Mont Blanc that I did over the summer. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check that out. I actually borrow some of those same items for my hikes to work, if you want to call it that. But it is mostly level terrain, but it does get pretty cold over here in Korea. Single digits the last few weeks or so. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll leave as many links as I can for you guys where to find this gear. But just like a lot of my stuff, I get it either on sale or in clearance or out of season or just kind of in my travel. So um, let's go ahead and dive in. We'll just start with the accessories first, just because that's kind of how I have this uh, stacked over here. But basically, I want to be able to be seen whenever I'm walking around at night. And so because I don't want to get hit by cars and it, Korea is kind of a, a location where cars hit people to be as nice as possible. I love Korea, but you know, you gotta be careful when you're when you're a pedestrian out here. You know, I, I like to be able to be seen and so I actually got all of these items at the military clothing store on base. So that's where those things came from. And also to prevent myself from slipping in the ice, because there's plenty of ice on these sidewalks. Yeah, I have these, I think the company is like Yak something rather, but oh, here it is. It's Yak tracks so these are things that you put on the bottom of your shoes and it just kind of adheres to the bottom and you can just slip it off whenever you're whenever you're done but it keeps you from slipping as much on the ice okay the jacket is from jack wolfskin so i got this when i was in europe and i saw a lot of jack wolfskin stores over there so i don't know if it's european or if it's just popular over there but this is a down jacket i got a hood right here on a rare occasion where I need to get even additional warmth. And then on the inside, there's a small little a pocket right over the chest. And then it has lined pockets for your hands to go. But I really like this jacket. I like down. And other than it being a little difficult to wash, it's one of my favorite materials, especially when it gets cold. Okay, these are both made of, out of alpaca wool. This is from a company known as Appalachian Gear Company. So made in the USA. But yeah, I like having alpaca wool and it does have a, a different sort of smell, but you know, I it, it's, it's not nothing bad or anything, but it, it's, it keeps me very warm. And having fingerless gloves um, gives me the ability to use my phone while I'm in on my commute, if you want to call it that, uh, because you know, military never sleeps. You still need to be able to, I still do need to be able to reach and uh, reply back to, to comments or questions. Next up, this is something I've only had for a couple of weeks now, but this is from actually probably more than that, maybe a month and a half. But this is from a company known as Wazoo, and they have a, a pocket in the back. It's made in Colorado but they have a pocket where you can put a survival kit inside of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. A lot of Wazoo's uh, items that they sell is either uh, small miniature survival items or attire that you can wear. So um, I always have a survival kit on me, no matter if I'm carrying a backpack or not, I'm wearing this beanie. So really cool, uh, merino wool, merino wool, and then it has like a fleece lining on the inside where it protects your ears. And this has been a lifesaver in the cold. So and it hasn't um, overheated my head or anything like that either. Okay, kind of shifting gears. Let me just switch to uh, base layers really quickly. I got these long underwear. This is from Patagonia. But anyways, these are caps, cap of something, caprese salad. I don't, uh, capiline. So these are capiline midweight. I have these for my legs and then I have a top version of this, long sleeve version of this as well. 
and it's kind of thinner material, kind of a checkered pattern in order to let heat out. You don't want to have your most base of layers to be extremely insulating because you don't want to get overheated or something, you know. So that's what I have. And then if it's the weather that you see me in that video, I'll also have an additional, if you want to call it base layer. This is from a company that is Black Yak. I think it's European. It's very similar material, just a, just a little bit thicker, opens up right here. And uh, yeah, I, I, I will wear this on top of that long sleeve uh, Kappa line Patagonia top, which is in the laundry right now. I'll shift gears once again to what I'm wearing for, for pants. So I actually have a mid layer and also a top layer for, for pants. So my mid layer, this is an Under Armour warm up pants. It's just like a really thin material. The reason I'm saying it that way is just because I don't think that this has, I don't think this is sold anymore. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. So I don't want you guys falling in love with it and looking for it. Don't fall in love with me, kid. But yeah, just kind of a thin warm up pants. And then on top of that, a thicker Adidas warm up pants that I know they still sell these. And the reason why I am an advocate for investing in a, a, a tire that's going to keep you, I don't know, alive <laughs> is because, you know, some of these things last for several years. So I've had this for a decade or so. So if you buy cheap, you buy twice, I think is what the motto is. And as far as socks are concerned, because I know you really want to know about that, uh, this is from the company known as Darn Tough, and I have these in brown as well as the other colors that I, I wear other days of the week. And I, I've switched all my socks to Darn Tough, even though they were $20 a pair, I've just over time just acquired several pairs of them because I wear them when I'm hiking, wear them just regular wear and then in uniform which is why i have this color because i'm going to switch over to my uniform anyways so might as well have uh, the brown version but pretty much any darn tough socks is is darn good <laughs> dad jokes for every occasion this is from a company known as melanzana this is a company from you know, colorado so even though this is polyester it's extremely soft material and yes, it's still thin and everything, so you're not going to get overheated, but it provides extra protection for your, your head from getting cold, as well as your neck. So very thin material, not, not a lot of protection, but that extra layer can go a long way. And then it's got hoodies, basically hoodie pocket right here, kangaroo pocket or whatnot. So I really like uh, the material of this. It's just good to wear. Pretty much any season probably other than summer and just because it does such a good job being comfortable and keeping you you know a little bit warmer so it's a great thing to, to layer and then underneath the jacket i like to have something that zips because this is this is usually the first layer that i will lose or uh, basically shed or unzip whenever I'm walking around because my commute is about an hour long. So a little over halfway through, I'll, uh, I'll determine if I need this or, or not. But this is from the company Spider. And this was actually gifted to me from my father-in-law. So thank you for that. I think you got from like Cabela's or something like that. So if you guys have outdoor stores, you guys can probably pick up some of these, uh, some of these items. But this is a thicker material. So the wind really does not go through this at all to be totally honest and then the a softer more breathable material the other parts of you that are going to be you know, heating up and, and potentially sweating so really like spider and i i highly recommend them so anyways guys that is everything i wanted to say y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be repaired god bless um what is it called even though this is polyester so even though this is polyester it's extremely soft Lower, I guess. Yeah, I can't go backwards fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not. This is not an easy thing to do.